it is God's time. Yeah. This is not my hour. It is your hour. Yeah. MMD as a party. MMD as a party is not dead. Yes. MMD shall not die. Yes. Neither will MMD be sold. Yes. By anyone. Yes. Not even Mutati has the power to sell MMD. Yes. I come here recognizing that MMD was founded on diversity of opinion, divergence of views, that the DNA of MMT is multipartism. The DNA of MMT is tolerance. The DNA of MMT is that the member is smaller and subordinate to the party. I have been a member of MMT for over 15 years. Now today, somebody walks in and says, Mutati, go, go. Masumuna play for MJ na ime. Two days ago, it was announced by the Deputy National Secretary that Mutaji through a communique, you have been expelled from the party MMT. This is the second expulsion from the party. I was expelled last year, like Jesus had died, I reimaged, and then I'm expelled again. I was expelled for three key reasons. And I want to confront the reasons that were given so that you, the members, can make a judgment. The first reason that I was expelled upon was that I was double dealing and having secret meetings with UPND. The second reason is that you have been expelled because your name and picture appeared on a UPND calendar. And the third reason I was expelled was that I have infringed the harmony, the unity of the MMT by, by, by expressing my desire to call for a conversion. That if you call for a conversion, then you are in bad standing. You need to be expelled. No! And let me deal with them head on. Mutati is a double dealer with UPND. That is the very reason I was expelled last year. And colleagues recall, the fundamental truth is that on of on November 16th, in 2014, we had a national executive meeting on the Sunday afternoon where we were informed by the national secretary then, Muhari Lungu, that negotiations had been taking place between MMD and UPND. That these negotiations were taking place not only in Zambia but also in a foreign country. And that they had reached an advanced stage. The meeting resolved that we should enter into an alliance with UPND. When that resolution was made, it was said, a small team of senior MMD members be constituted 
to be able to deal with the nuts and bolts of that alliance. Apart from the President, National Secretary, and Treasurer then, Honorable Black Limam, there was Honorable Desai, Professor Lungwangwam, and myself, who we are tasked to deal with the nuts and bolts for the alliance with UPND. And the issue remains at that NEC, the issue of presidential candidates. The members of parliament voted at that NEC. 19 members of parliament voted. 16 voted for Rupia Bandam. Two voted for Nevers Mumba. And one abstained. Subsequently, President Mumba was put on suspension. He took the matter to court, as any member has the right for redress. In the time that the matter was taken to court, as your members of parliament, 27 of us, said time is going, we need to move in this process. And I was humbled by my colleagues, members of parliament, they said, Mutati, you must be our team leader yes. for this relationship with UPND. So myself, together with 27 members of parliament, we supported HH of UPND. And that is the thing that I committed by agreeing one to a decision, two, to be honored to lead my colleagues, the members of parliament. I did not lead, I did not go there in my personal capacity. I went there as part of the members of parliament, not only from MMD, you may wish to know, we also had ADD, we also had the independent. We all joined together to fight the election. Some of you that I see here, we are not with us in the support for UPND. In fact, most of you, you took a choice and supported President Ed Kalungu. Yes. Now, your support for President Lungu has today turned into a source of irritation and you are being punished as officials for having expressed your own choices. That was my first expulsion. I was reinstated. That comeback. You come back into MMBD. I came back. I made it very clear that I had never left. I only supported UPND, but I did not join UPND. Yeah. I only supported UPND. I did not join UPND. I made a public statement on movie TV when I was interviewed by Costa, who asked me, are you UPND? I said, no, I'm not UPND. I followed it up with an interview on Radio Phoenix, where I was asked the same question, not only by Heidi Haguta, but by also people who are calling. They asked me the question, are you UPND? I said to them, I'm not UPND. I worked with UPND, but I did not join UPND. Yes. The following day or two, there was a headline in the Daily Nation. And the headline in the Daily Nation simply stated, 
Mutati ditches UPND. My colleagues at Daily Nation. That is the headline that they put. Last week, I issued another statement in the post, stating very clearly that I'm not UPND. By my DNA, I bear no hate, I bear no intolerance, I bear no grudges against President Mumba. I have nothing personal against President Mumba because he's just a member and president of the party. I'm not a bitter person because I lost to him in May 2012. I carry no bitterness. What I carry on my shoulders is that MMT must not die. Yeah. The second reason I was expelled was that I appeared on a UPND calendar. A calendar that had a number of faces, including Felix Mutati, as part of the team for 2016. Let me put the facts correctly, and you deserve to know. Number one, I was never asked. I never gave any consent. I never authorized. UPND to put me on the calendar. My appearance on the calendar has caused great damage and embarrassment to me. For that reason, I have authorized my lawyer, Sakura Scotta, to deal conclusively with the matter. Because as we go forward, we don't want to carry with us baggage. My name is Salim from the Post Newspapers. I want to get a clarification. You say you have instructed your lawyer to deal with uh, UPND over the issue of your use of uh, the use of your your, your, your image on the on their calendar. So have you sued them? What's what's what what action is he taking? I indicated very clearly that have given instructions to Sakwiva Scotta, who also appeared on the calendar without his consent or approval. Sakwiva is a very experienced state council. He is one seeking that that calendar be withdrawn forthwith. Two, is asking for damages by those that published that calendar, that those profits that they accumulated don't belong to them. And then there are other costs that they have put in the letter. So we see how, where, how far it goes. For us, it's the publisher. It is up to the publisher to surrender and say, it's not me, it's this one who did it. So we are going by the address on the calendar to be able to say this is our issue. I thank you.